Hey guys, so for today's video I have an absolute ton of new makeup in front of me on the floor right now and I'm basically going to put it on my face on camera and do like a full face of first impressions. So it's basically like a testing makeup video but from like an array of different brands. I've got The Body Shop, I've got Miss Sporty, L'Oreal, Collection, I've got quite a selection. Collection selection, ha! Oh, I'm so good at rhyming things aren't I? <laughs> quite a selection of different brands and I'm just gonna whack them on my face as always and see what I think. Okay so the first product I have is from The Body Shop and this is the Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur Perfector thing. It's a primer basically to put under your foundation. Whoa! First impression is it's very like, oh whoa! It's like a quite jelly. It's like jelly, yeah. Is it silicone? A silicone based primer. Feels so weird but also feels really nice. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness, it feels really nice. <laughs> so I believe this is supposed to like fill in all of your little holes in your face. <laughs> it is so smooth, like it's making my face feel so soft and like Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, just to point out, I've done my eyebrows already because I didn't have any like new eyebrow products. Even my fingers, like my fingertips feel really soft now. It's really nice. Um, obviously the real test will be if it like makes my makeup last longer, but for now, I like how it feels. <laughs> so I've also got another Body Shop product and this is the Honey Bronze Face Gel. And I was gonna use it, but I think in this video, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna like test it on my hand to see what the color's like and stuff. I've got so many things to put on my face. I think we could do without this one. You'll see what's coming. I've got so many things. My face is going to be like, <laughs> oh wow, it's very brown. Well, what did I expect? Bronze. Uh -huh. It's quite watery. I don't know. Ah, oh, no. I don't know how well you can see. It's like wet. So it just gives you like a really nice, subtle, bronzy tint to your skin. That would actually be so nice. I'll definitely give that a go another day. Maybe in another video, I'll use this for the first time. So instead of foundation, today I'm going to be using a BB cream for the first time in my life. This is the Body Shop All-in-One BB cream. It is in the shade 00, so probably the palest one. It says it magically transforms to suit your skin tone. That is so pale. Oh my God, it's like bubbling. It's like... It's like a little fart coming up. <laughs> it looks like vanilla ice cream. That is literally the only way I can describe that because it's got the little black dots in it as well that like proper pucker vanilla ice cream has in it. Oh yes. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how you can see, but it is white. I'm assuming that, you know, it does transform to your skin tone because look at it. I know I'm pale, but I ain't this pale. Okay, I'm just gonna blend it in quickly. Wow. It is actually turning into my face colour. Like, I thought it was going to make me look really pasty. But, oh well, I do look pasty anyway, but like, pastier. It's obviously like a really light coverage because it's just a BB cream, but I can live with that. <laughs> For concealers, I've got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Colour Correcting Fluids. I'm so excited to try these. They're in like pastel colours. Only thing is, I can't remember what each colour does. So I'm going to have to Google that quickly. Urban Decay. Ew, decay. That's such a grim word. <laughs> okay, so we've got yellow corrects dullness. A like peachy one that is masks, circles, spots. And then purple balances sallowness. I don't even know what this means. Do you know what would be fun? If we just put them anywhere and just make it up as we go along. Ooh, so it's on like a little fluffy applicator dofer thingy. It's just so pretty. I love the purple one so much. I think I'm just gonna like put it on my eyes because they look a bit sallow. <laughs> First impression is that they blend really, really nicely. Like, it's such a nice consistency. I think I now have a lilac under eye, but hey ho. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bit of the peachy one, like around my nose. Oh, I'm not sure about that. What was the yellow one for? Dullness or something? But my whole face is dull. Should I put it everywhere? Whoa, it's like proper yellow. I think they could potentially be very good if I knew how to use them. And now I have a contour stick and I've never tried anything like this before. This is the Collection Precision Contouring Stick. Oh, it's in the shade medium. Probably could have done with light, but we're gonna go with medium. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, could be worse. It blends quite easily, actually. I thought at first that that was gonna be an absolute bitch to blend, but it blends quite nicely. It's not the best shade for me but it's all right and then for blush 
I don't have like a brand new blush, but I do have one that I've not really used, if you know what I mean. Like I've got the Soap and Glory Made You Blush blusher. I've been using the like shimmery pink one so much as you've probably seen in videos, but I've never really used this one. It's like a matte rosy color. It's in the shade Rosy Chic. It's a lot more of like a natural color. It's kind of, you know, natural. <laughs> So I have these highlighters from L'Oreal and I'm not gonna put all of them on, bloody hell. So first I have the L'Oreal True Match Highlight and these are liquid highlights. I've got a pinky one and a bronzy one. I'm gonna go for the pinky one because I think that'll suit my skin tone a bit more. Oh, it's got such a tiny little hole. It's like a little tiny worm, like mm. <laughs> So it's like a really pretty pearly pinky liquid. Delicious. <gasps> I like it. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. It's just like a really nice glowy highlighty thingy. Great description as always. <laughs> I also have a couple more highlighters from L'Oreal. I've got the L'Oreal True Match Highlights in... Golden Glow and Icy Glow. I'm gonna use the one in Icy Glow. It's got blue in it. Blue. I am excited. So you've got like a peachy colour, a white and a blue. I know I've already got highlighter on so it's not like giving you a real feel of what it does but I just wanted to put it on and it's making my highlight even more like wow look at it. That is quite an icy glow. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. And the first thing I have is this little sample of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. I've never tried an eyeshadow primer and you guys always say you should probably use one and I'm just like, Tch. I don't need one of them. In reality, I probably do need one of them. So <laughs> I got this little tester. So it's skin color, obviously. And I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on my eyelids. First impression is that it blends really, really easily. It's going on nicely and it's making my eyelids feel really soft. Okay, I've got my, my anti-crease on. No. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and I have a little Miss Sporty eyeshadow palette in the shade Golden. They're all very shimmery shades, so I don't know if that's gonna look a bit too shimmery. We're going with it. I'm just gonna take the palest one first, put it all over. Wow, it is shimmery as heck. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a bit of, oh, I don't really know. I'm just gonna take the like gold color. I'm just gonna put that over the top. So I'd say these are quite pigmented, like the colors coming out pretty good. Now I'm just gonna take a bit of the sort of darker colors. I don't know which one, they're both really similar. <laughs> Let's have a bit of both. And I'm just gonna put that in the corner to deepen my crease. Ugh. I don't like the word crease, I don't know why. Just like, like a little crevice. Oh God, ah, uh-oh, oh no, oh. Actually, this isn't going too bad. I'm just gonna put a bit of the white in my corner. Oh no, not in there. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow done. I'm gonna stop there before I ruin it. And I really like it. I think that is actually so good. And I know Miss Sporty Makeup is so affordable. I can't remember the prices of everything right now, but everything will be listed. I just realized the rest of this video is Miss Sporty stuff. It is now a testing Miss Sporty Makeup video from this point onwards, so <laughs> let's go. So I have a selection of their eyeliner liners. These are their designer gel 24 hour long lasting gel liner things and I've got a black, a blue, a grey and a brown and then I've also got a 100% rock pump up booster. Don't know which one to use, like I want to do a wing liner but it's kind of tricky when you've got a pencil and not a liquid but I'm going to give it a go. I think that one will be a bit too chunky. I might just, bloody hell, it is well big isn't it? Like a dagger. But one of these might go quite nicely because they're quite thin nibbed and I think I'm just going to go for standard black. It's really creamy. That's my first impression. Creamy creamy. It's gonna be this bit that's gonna be the problem. I'm not gonna do like a proper flick. I'm just gonna like poke it out a little bit. I've done a little poke. I'm just gonna do the other side quickly and then I will return to you. Okay, so obviously it's not gonna be the neatest eyeliner ever, but I don't think it looks too bad to be honest. I quite like that. And then I also have the Miss Sporty 100% Rock Pump Up mascara booster. This is fat as. Like, look how fat this packaging is. I don't even want to know how big the wand is. I'm not good with big ones, but mm -hmm. I think, wahoo. It looks like a peanut. <laughs> it's a peanut shaped one. That is a chunky wand. It's bristly. It's not like a um, plasticky one. It's all bristly. It's like bigger than my eye itself. Crikey, mate. I don't even want to try putting it on my bottom lashes. Okay, that was tense doing my bottom lashes. That was a big peanut to be putting around my eyes. <laughs> I think from what I've done, it's, you know, it's 
it's done a little bit. And lastly, I have a load of the Miss Sporty Wonder Smooth lipsticks. How nice are they? Like literally every color, I swear. I'm just gonna grab, the first one I've seen is Heroic Copper. It is a sort of brownie color, I'd say. I really like it. Oh, they smell delish. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like super creamy. Like I swear every makeup I've tried in this, I've said it's creamy. It's, this has been a creamy makeup tutorial. <laughs> put that as the title eh? That is such a good formula and they're so cheap. I'm so certain that these are like three quid or under. Proper chuffed. <laughs> so that is it. That is my full face of testing new makeup video and I really enjoyed it. It was really fun trying loads of new stuff. I don't think there was anything that I didn't like so so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more testing makeup videos. I know you guys like them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.